so I'm just having a practice at vlogging because I'm so used to doing Facebook lives. I'm not used to just talking to a camera and there being no comments and no things flashing up at the bottom, which I think most people find distracting and a lot of people prefer to do recorded videos when there's no one there. But I love it when there's people there to talk to. So yeah, I want to start doing a vlog though, so I'm just trying out doing it on my phone. I'm going to see how it goes. I'm currently in the basement of a B&B in central London, in Vauxhall. Been making plans. Um, I've got a business event over the next two days here in London. Um, I'm looking forward to it, although it's been a crazy year this year. And something that I reflected on is back in 2020, um, May 2020, I started a Facebook Live challenge and I decided to go live every single day for 365 days. So I did a year of just going live every single day. Some lives were long, some were short, some were random, some were structured, some were training, some were masterclasses, some were just me dyeing my hair, <laughs> just depending on what I was doing and how I was feeling. But what I found was that the videos that I made were really helpful for me and they were also helpful and valuable to the women that decided to plug into my content and when I started that series it was in a private Facebook group so it wasn't public. I've just realised I'm laid here in a white vest and I haven't got a bra on <laughs> but you can't see anything I don't think. No we're good, we're good. I won't care if you can, but you know. Um, but yeah, I kept it inside of a private Facebook group and I went live a lot of the time inside of my private Facebook group because I wanted to get used to going live. I wanted to um, share stories in there that I wanted to not necessarily be completely public. Um, so it gave me both a platform to be able to build my confidence. It meant that the women that were in that group wanted to be there because I didn't invite people to the group. I just shared the group, told people what it was about, talked about what I'd be talking about inside of the group. I still have that group today. Um, <clears throat> and women requested to join that group and then they could access the lives as and when they wanted to. And that group is still there. It's still the same. I haven't been live for a while in there. But it became a... A really lovely space to just go go live, have a chat, share things in there, sometimes personal things, sometimes stories, sometimes life coaching things. And I did that for 365 days. And as I got to the end of that, I really wanted to, part of me really wanted to carry on doing the lives. So I've been live every single day for 365 days. And as it led up to the last week or so, I thought to myself, I want to keep going with this. I want to keep going. And then I thought, I'm on mad because it was a big commitment going live every day. And I spoke to a few people about it and they were just like, listen, you've done a year. You've committed to what you said you were going to do and you've done it. And I thought to myself, yeah, I must be crazy wanting to go live for a whole year. It's like a, a good chunk of time going live every day. And so I didn't go live every day. I stopped doing the lives. And on reflection, I wish I'd have carried on doing the lives. Because, like I said, they weren't only beneficial for the people who plugged into the lives. They were really also beneficial for me as well. And part of me misses that. I miss that connection with people. Um, I miss just being able to just chat with women in my community. I also wish as, I, I miss as well seeing certain people pop up. I know like doing vlogs and things may be different because like now, and I'm looking around at the buttons now, obviously on YouTube, um, there's, there is the live element, so maybe I'll do lives on YouTube, we'll see. But there isn't the, the interaction there. This is me thinking out now, loud now of whether I'm going to do live elements to YouTube, but my thought process behind doing a vlog and getting used to vlogging in this way is that I can create more content throughout the day 
um, and piece that together and bring it to a more public platform like YouTube. I'm going to be looking into how best to structure my content and how to get it out there. But ultimately what I do want to create with my YouTube channel, because I'm going to make one, is I just want to create that place of connection and I want it to be a place where people can just plug in and it's just like, I don't know, like a, just, a, just a friend really, just a mate, just someone you can come and sit and watch and hang out with. And the reason I want to make that happen is because I love to just sit sometimes and just plug into some, some people I follow on YouTube and at the end of the day when I just sit down and I think, what do I want to watch? I want to watch something easy. I want to watch something that's going to make me smile. I want to watch something that's relatable. I want to watch something that feels like I'm talking to a friend kind of thing or just listening to a friend and I'll go to YouTube. And I thought that is what I want to create with my platform. So I might be a little bit late to the YouTube party because some of the people that I follow have been creating their vlogs now for 10 years. And I'm like, <laughs> and part of me thinks if I'd have continued with my Facebook Live challenge, for example, I'd have been three years into that now, is it? No, two years, two and a half years in. But that's then and this is now. So I just thought I'd record this little video on my phone while I'm here in my basement room. I'll just show you a little bit of uh, said room. It's a... Uh, not the most glamorous but it's it's a warm room in this current climate it's a warm room it's safe it's nice the people who work here are really nice um it's literally a stone throw from where i'm going to be um going for my business event tomorrow which is in pimlico so we're in zone one so we are pretty central um so yeah i've just been brainstorming a few things ahead of tomorrow tomorrow is a pr event and what I will say after the year that I've had, which once I start doing my, I haven't even checked my hair or anything like that because I'm not even bothered. Um, once I start to do this YouTube thing and once I start to do more videos and share more stories and stuff, I will talk about sort of a bit more about who I am and introduce myself and all that kind of stuff if you're very new to, well, if you're new, hi. Um... But yeah, it's been a it's been a really kind of rough year this year for me, behind the scenes. Um, those that follow me know; those that don't, you'll get to know. But going into next year, I just want things to be just different, different in how I run my business, um, energetically different, and this feels like the right step forward and the PR event that I'm doing tomorrow I'll I'll share a story with how I met the person who's running the event um, I'm really excited to see her um, we met about five years ago now and I always knew that I'd work with her in some capacity I just didn't know how that would be and she's hosting an event tomorrow which is perfection for me right now even though I feel I'm not potentially ready for it yet I also know that if I don't lean into it then there's never the right time it's never the right time to do anything sometimes and doing things like PR scares the shit out of me but I just thought if it scares me then that's what I've got to do so I'll film bits tomorrow um if I remember I will film film bits tomorrow I've got some bits on my phone today I've just got to remember to hold my phone this way rather than the other way um but that's okay and then I'm thinking also of getting some vlogging equipment and then maybe a camera after Christmas in the sales, we'll see. But for now, it's just going to be on my iPhone. So, it's my first video. It seems weird because if I look at the screen, I'm looking across. And if I look there, I'm looking. But anyway, video one. So yeah, this is it. Let's see how this vlog goes down. And my plan is, this is the plan, is to go at this vlog for the next 10 years. Which might sound nuts to you, but to me... It feels like the right thing. Just commit to the process, do the damn thing, show up every day and yeah, create what feels like the right thing to create and just know that it's going to help so many people in the process. So yeah, I'm going to go to sleep now um, and I'll see you and speak to you on the next video. Bye.
I think I woke up about five times. I'm so noise sensitive, I like it. Every single noise. The fridge. Because there's a fridge in here. Any noises. Then my mind starts racing into all sorts of shit. Like. Because I'm in the basement. I was like, maybe it's a ghost tapping on the side. So yeah, so I've had meditation music on all night. I woke up about five times. And then my alarm went off at seven. And it's now... 7.40. I've just been laid here this way. So I'm going to get myself up. I think breakfast is at 8. So I'm just going to get myself over for breakfast. And then um, get myself ready. The event's at half nine. So I want to be ready to go about nine o'clock. Wish me luck. So we're going to go with the black. Black shirt. I have got a bodysuit that I was going to wear, but yeah, I'm feeling because it's a business day event today. Um, I have also got these. Um, that one's see through, obviously my vibe. And then there is that one, but I literally have two minutes until I need to leave, so I'm just thinking that this one will will be fine. I can move in it. I forgot my jewelry. So yeah, no earrings and no necklace, but it's fine. Right, I'm gonna head off now to get the tube and I will, um, yeah, let's hope we get there on time. So it wasn't what I wanted to wear, but my tweed coat was too big to go in my suitcase. So I just had to put on what was warm. It was snowing yesterday. It was minus conditions. London was a bit chaotic. So this coat was the one, my favorite Jules coat. All my, all my coats are Jules. Um, I thought we'd do, because when I got here last night, it was dark. So I thought we'd do the unveiling of what's behind this blind together without breaking. Let me turn the light off because we're in the basement. How cute is that? <laughs> so yes, yeah, that's my room with a view vibes. Right, let's uh, let's go to this event. morning to someone and they looked at me like I've got two heads. <laughs> Vibes, I'm like proper tourist. Let me flip my camera around. So I've just walked in for being out all day and if you obviously saw the room this morning I just left it in a complete tip because I just thought it would be left in a complete tip and I've come home to find it all the bed made and all the things sorted so didn't realise there was a bit of a room service thing so the bed's been made folded I've got stuff chucked everywhere and it's all been, even my pants have been put back in my suitcase because they were just chucked everywhere. So I've picked myself up some food. I've been for a walk. I went up to Hyde Park Corner, had a walk and then walked down to 
to, where did I go? Buckingham Palace. And then walked down to Victoria. And then got the Victoria line down to where I'm staying and then picked up some food. So I'm going to take him to this now. So today's been a good day. Quite tired, weepy eyes though. Um, I've had a shower and take my makeup off, but I forgot to bring my micellar water. So I've got the uh, wipes. My skin doesn't like wipes, so I take my makeup off with wipes. But it's not happy. And I'm tired. Oh, it's been a long day. Hopefully going to get a better night's sleep tonight. So, um, yeah, it's been a good day today. So learning all about just PR, how to pitch, getting out there into the media. Um, I wrote a pitch out today and it's been sent in the morning to Cosmopolitan magazine. So we shall see what happens there. I've got a list of the contacts as well, um, sort of publications and places that potentially it'd just be fun to be featured in there. Um, just expand my reach, provide value in just more publications and places other than my social media platform. So that is what today was all about. Um, so it's been really good and it's been amazing to meet some um, just new women as well because I didn't know anyone there other than the woman who'd organised it, Maya. Um, so it was really nice to meet them, got on so well with everybody. So got a new circle of friends, yay, which is a vibe. Um, and then when the event had finished, um, we've got some more time together tomorrow. Um, but I got the tube up to, from Pimlico up to Hyde Park Corner. I thought I'd go to the Winter Wonderland because it said you could go for free. And I thought I'll just have a wander around. But they were asking for tickets and I couldn't be asked to queue. <laughs> Excuse me, for tickets. So, um, I just had a little wander around and then, um, walked down to Buckingham Palace. Um, had a look at the King's Christmas trees at Buckingham Palace and then walked down to Victoria Station, got on the tube and then came home, picked some food up. And I've just been looking at a magazine because one day I'll be featured in this as well, Women's Health. So I will be featured in that magazine one day. Mary was really impressed with my pitch that I wrote today. Um... And she was just like, it's absolutely perfect, it's written perfectly, really confident. And I'm just like, I'm in, <laughs> I'm going for it, why not? Um, so I'm just doing a bit of research in terms of publications and stuff. And then I've just got to figure out how to piece all this video stuff together. I feel like an old schooler, YouTuber, like a bit late to the party, but it's fine. My thing is for creating this platform on YouTube is... I just don't feel, I've actually Googled it tonight because I love to research everything. It's I Googled life coaching or mindset vloggers and I didn't find any, which was great because I was like, yay. The only thing I could find and the only thing I ever find when I look for life coaching videos, which is wonderful, but also it just ugh, snores me off is just, and I said this today. I said this today when I did my um, my pitch and when I was introducing myself to the women of the group. It's like, I love and appreciate a professional brand. But when it comes to life and life coaching and real life, like, you kind of look to professionals to, for the life coaching and that kind of stuff. And I am professional, even though I look like this. This is like real life. It's the real life element that I want people to see. I don't just want people to see shiny branding or well curated posts or like really well written crafted information or pictures or I love all that. I love being creative. I love getting deep into thought. I love writing. I love creating content that is helpful and valuable for people. And I've been doing it for years. But I also love to show the behind the scenes, like the real life behind the brand, behind the person, behind everything. Because it can be, you know, it can be messy and chaotic and just sometimes it can be bland and it can be boring. It can be busy. It can be stressful. It can be all the things. And I think too many people on social media just see the shiny front end and there's so many people trying to look and act and be a certain way and then feel like they're failing because 
their life doesn't look like the shiny life that's on the social media. And I'm like, social media is just a, a lot of the time. It's like the very tip or a very little bit of someone's life. It's not the whole picture. And yet, especially for young people, they're aspiring to something that isn't even real. It's just a tiny percent of someone or something or an experience. And so with this vlog, I can hear people. With this vlog, I want to just bring realness to life and to behind the scenes of life and parenting and being a, like a... I am in a partnership, obviously. I've got my partner, but I, I live independently with the kids at the moment. So, And I've been a single parent for four years. I've obviously built a few businesses now, different businesses and worked in different businesses. Um, and I want to bring more of the behind the scenes of what that looks like in my vlog. So I'm going to stop waffling on now. I'm going to just chill out for a bit and go to sleep. I've no idea what time it is. I think it's about nine o'clock, so it's not too late. But someone might be in the room next door to me now. I can hear. So I'm going to go um, get some sleep and then uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.